Well, we still sell the kippers. I have some kippers. I yeah. have some kippers. Immediately opposite there, that is where we lived. <laughs> it is. It's still there. Yeah. That was a particle broadcast for the Labour Party. <laughs> <laughs> Terrifically effective. They went ahead nine points straight away. It sort of did sound like the beginning of a music hall act, didn't it? You know, do you still serve kippers? Well, I'm serving you, ain't I? <laughs> cool. Recognise the chap on the left? <laughs> well, obviously. <laughs> Surely it's one of the cabinet ministers they think aren't telegenic. It's not David the, Mellor, isn't it's it? It's not the girl... There's so many to choose from. It's John not the girl in, Dummer. It's not the girl yeah, in the clear advert, is it? The one <laughs> the before and after. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm happy to say no, it's not. It's uh, actually a gentleman called uh, Lord Buckethead. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, clue was there, <laughs> wasn't it? The clue was there. I'd have guessed, really, couldn't you? I'm a fool to myself. And he's, uh, he's standing against John Major on the policy that everyone should wear a bucket on their head. Uh, I think it's Dave Nellist. Very good indeed, yes. Oh, yes. Dave Nellist. The unmistakable who... figure. Of... It does help when you actually get to see their face, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> Rolf Harris, to his credit, uh, never recorded any election music, but he was there in spirit. Two brothers fighting on opposite sides, and one sees the other. I hadn't heard Did that. Did you think I'd leave you dying when there's room on my horse for two? Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Maggie would have shot the wounded leave. one in the head. <laughs> Jeffrey Archer was actually yep. walking round Battersea the other day, which is where I live, and uh, some old blokes that was coming along, and uh, he said, can I just ask you a question, Mr Archer? And he says, yes, yes, fire away. He said, why don't you sod off? <laughs> What's it's Jonathan Ross got to do with two and a half million viewers? He's ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad it was you that said that. <laughs> why there's a burning desire for a mm. vindaloo. Oh, yes, I do know that. This is, um, somebody's discovered that there's something in Chile which is quite addictive, isn't Not it? Not the country. No, in the, um... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for making that abundantly clear. <laughs> it's worth a point, though, don't you think? You've got a nerve calling somebody else a greaser, haven't you? <laughs> It's very, anyway, hard to, it's very hard to take an insult from someone whose haircut is done at an MOT centre. <laughs> <laughs> That's a point. That's yes, a point. Uh, you were, yes, halfway through an answer. Before you <laughs> yes, I was halfway through an answer. There, there is a dream addictive. ticket. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's something addictive in Chile, which is the food, not the country, which yeah. makes people hungry, which is the thing rather than the country. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> Um, I've, I've lost the word. No, 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 no. I think we should get an extra point for using the word endorphins, because that's the thing. These are these pleasure hormones which are allegedly in the vindaloo. Yes, I might deduct it, actually. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> what sort of ambitions do you have, parliamentary ambitions? In the long term, um, yes, like any politician, I want to be prime minister. Of course. Do you want to be prime minister? Yes. How do you see the time scale of these personal ambitions? Fifteen years. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. 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 God. That's not Robert anyway. Kilroy Silk, that's Peter Wingard. <laughs> that's Los Angeles. <laughs> that's McDonald's. Apparently there was the Big Bang and they found ripples at the edge of the universe. And that proves that, um... It's all in the papers, I don't know. <laughs> The chap in the wheelchair, Spielberg, you know. Mm. Oh, this was the, the man who had sex with a dolphin. And Which is the dolphin? They've given birth to, um, sort of half man, half dolphin. There it is. The dolphin that was missing? Yes. How do they know it's the same It's, it's Freddy the dolphin. Well, apparently they asked him a few questions. they found questions. a different... <laughs> Like, which way would you have voted if you'd been around in the yeah. election? <laughs> Are men going to burn this magazine? I well, I bought it for research them. purposes earlier in the day. <laughs> yes. It, it was called Four Women, and I thought that would be interesting. <laughs> um, it wasn't. It was about 25 blokes. Oh. <laughs>
Yeah, it's a bit of a letdown. I, I, bought, I bought a copy of a magazine called Men Only the other day and there was no men in it at all. <laughs> Old gag, Chiswick Empire, 1954. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, nice to hear again. Welcome back. Oh, it's a, a very unfair story about um, whether television chat show hosts should wear wigs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that at all. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do with it. This is about whether judges should wear wigs. And this headline seems to have missed the point. It's not the wigs that are held in contempt, it's the judges. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> They've decided they'll improve their image by taking their wigs off. And there are some other things they could try. Staying awake's good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's terribly unlikely. And next time I appear thing. before you, I love you all. <laughs> <laughs> and it won't be long, I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you, the answer is that uh, Esther Ranson, Michael Parkinson and Hanu Mikola are all rhinoceroses. <laughs> And celebrities, whereas the rhino is just a rhinoceros. <laughs> this is. Uh, <laughs> I'll, uh, <laughs> we do. We do have. We have some of that one. <laughs> And a look at the scarlet numerals tells us that this week's underachievers are Paul and Joan with 18, <laughs> and this week's child prodigies are Ian and Donna with 20. Oh, dear. It's not important who wins. It's not important who wins. <laughs> Except to Paul. <laughs> At the end of an unsuccessful season, Arsenal captain Tony Adams denies that his drink problem has returned. <laughs> <laughs> this is a new invention. It's a cross between a building and a ship. <laughs> <laughs> the idea is you stand by the riverbank and the office floats its way towards you. <laughs> Do not high school, you know, we're not actually giving. Uh, is this something to do with Keneally Wharf? No? no. This is um. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I well, say I think I'll say. just go back to those of common. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ian, perhaps you'd like Canary to. Keneally Wharf's empty. That's got some people in it. So um, <laughs> that's the, the first one is the the secret MI6 building, oh, and the other one I presume is the secret MI5 <laughs> building. <laughs> Ah. Um, but if it's a secret, just... how are we expected to know about it? <laughs> yes, the, well, the uh... secret is um, that they're in that building, but no one knows what they do, um, including them. Because <laughs> that's been top secret for years. What do MI6 do? Um... Make furniture, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> Be a hell of a sight more useful than what they do do. Uh, one of their sideboards. They, they... <laughs> but is this seriously true that a hospital has given McDonald's? A... It is seriously true, and it's Guy's Hospital in in London. Well, it's why don't they get the doctors typical... to dress up as Ronald McDonald? <laughs> uh, Paul and Charles, a strangely familiar setting for you. Oh, I'm glad you stopped it before it got very easy. <laughs> <laughs> Does this Ken Livingston join Thames Day? <laughs> by <laughs> <laughs> Oddly enough, yes, it is. It is? Is it really? Oh, look, oh good. Oh. Mm. He fell in the water. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's so simple, but it could be true. Let's He's paragliding, all. isn't he? This is paranoid. <laughs> <laughs> The two of them, the dream ticket yeah. again. <laughs> a new sport, <laughs> underwater skiing. <laughs> and so let's uh, unleash the pandemonium that is round four, our odd one out round, oh God, for oddities, uh, one of which our panel have to out. Who is the Jason Donovan and why is all <laughs> uh, Jason Donovan, notorious, <laughs> notorious, notorious heterosexual. heterosexual. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Ask anyone at the London Palladium. <laughs> uh, very quickly. Oh, Jason, nothing wrong with Jason. <laughs> Straight as a die, old Jason. <laughs> Simon Le Bon. Oh, he's nice. Looking well. Oh, and Tracy blimey. Stamp, celebrated sex changee. She doesn't look well at all. <laughs> Was this, was this photograph taken before, during, or after? <laughs> Under the shape of her head! <laughs> Did, what, you, you, say, you say sex change, um, from what to what? 
very unfair, isn't it, really? It's very unfair. Yes, it is unfair. She's had the male bit put on her head. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all right, thank you. Um, <laughs> Paddy does what on the M4? <laughs> Shorthand typist. I'm glad to see that not a smirk has come over Mr. <laughs> Kennedy's face. <laughs> it's extremely loyal of him. Mm. Could um, you just move on to another one? <laughs> <laughs> no, let's stick on this one. Any more ideas? Uh, 18 years imprisonment, she's going to be awarded £215,000. That's less than half what Geoffrey Archer got for not having a spotty back. <laughs> And just over what Jason Donovan got for not being gay. Yeah. <laughs> Which he isn't. No, he's not gay. No. 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 <laughs> thank you. Uh, Let's clear that up straight away. Yeah. I think we probably cleared it up last week, but thank you anyway. <laughs> it, all, uh, it all makes sense. And Jeffrey uh, Archer hasn't got a spotty back. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Donovan's still not gay. <laughs> <laughs> How did I know you were going to say that? It's... Uh, <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, well, this is the uh, speech from the Bishop of Galway, who's saying, well, you can't all be my children. <laughs> <laughs> I was quite upset by this Bishop of Galway thing. Why? Well, I used to go out with him. <laughs> <laughs> and I, didn't know, I knew nothing about this woman in America. <laughs> he used to take me to the pictures. Yeah. <clears throat> Sit in the back row and hold his crook. <laughs> Prince Charles is remarrying like most of the royal family, so he thought he'd go for someone who looks exactly like Diana, so he chose <laughs> Selena Scott. So he chose a tree? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, poor old Princess Lady Diana. How, how unfair. On the tree. Now on the tree. <laughs> Come on, you would if you had half the chance. <laughs> I'm very happy we were the Bishop of Galway. <laughs> no, well, if uh, none of you have got it, then I'll tell you. The answer is, in fact, that they're all nudists, except Kelvin McKenzie, who likes everyone else to be in the nude. Well, Churchill isn't a nudist now, He was. He? I was don't he? know what state he's in. Oh, yeah, he turned up in Walter in the nude. I remember that. Stalin, Roosevelt, Churchill with no clothes on in the middle. <laughs> Nudist. Oh, how stupid of us, the nudist. No, no, there's a story that um, the president came in, Roosevelt came in to his room and Churchill was in the bath and he just got up out of the bath. Uh, my dear. What was that he was putting in his mouth? <laughs> he did. And the president was quite taken aback. Mm, I'm very well. Because uh, Churchill was not the small man. <laughs> And anyway, uh, how do you know this? Is it old flame of it yours? It was on telly. If you watch that series on Churchill on BBC Two, you would is know. That that, is that that programme called Churchill's Knob? <laughs> I'm glad you, I'm glad you all Is it that your um, they're all nudists? <laughs> <laughs> well, it is, but unfortunately you have to give me the answer before I give you it. Oh. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd have to give you Paula Yates isn't a nudist. Paula Yates, by her own confession, likes to do the hoovering in the altogether which uh, may go some way to explain the sudden increase in window cleaners in the area. <laughs> so being married to Bob Geldof must put you off clothes for life. <laughs> Harry? Yeah, um, I think that we all like uh, the opera, except for Terry Dix, who's, who doesn't think that it should be funded and things. May I just say, I'm going to be sick us. at this point. <laughs> <laughs> we but all the... like the opera. <laughs> 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 we do. We think it's absolutely marvellous. Um, we really think it's lovely. Well, you've got two points. You don't want to go yeah. and see Tour and Doe. You Shut want to go up. and see the coronation of the <laughs> Adnan Khashoggi. Mark Thatcher. Back by popular demand, Robert Maxwell. <laughs> and Sooty. And Sooty. Well, um, what's the answer, Harry? Well, according to Sooty here, <laughs> yes. the answer is um, there is a connection with arms deals, and I'd better be slightly careful here. Uh, Maxwell was a crook and an arms dealer, and he's dead and he can't <laughs> sue. <laughs> Adnan Khashoggi was let off by one of those wonderful New York juries. No, you're not a crook. God, no. You can get out free. Anyway, he's an arms dealer. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Mark Thatcher obviously isn't. Um, 
He's amassed a large personal fortune over the last 10 years through personal merit and not through being the son of um, the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. To make that clear. Um, he's a good friend of a man called Wafik Saeed, who is an arms dealer. But that doesn't mean anything. Can't judge a bloke by his friends. Oh, no. And there's Sooty, who supplies a lot of the tow missiles to Iraq. <laughs> well, I think you've got it, really, haven't oh, yeah. you? Unless you're yeah. seriously suggesting that Sooty is a major arms dealer. <laughs> it's, uh, it's Sooty, as uh, all the others have been involved in the buying and selling of arms, whereas Sooty's only contact with arms is when he has one stuck up him. <laughs> uh, so, uh, at the end of that presidential round, the two all-important statistics are that uh, Ian and Rory have a... Paltry four, and uh, Paul and Ken have a man size 15. <laughs> this can't be right. I'm in the Labour Party. This isn't. <laughs> <the best. laughs> We're really supposed to lose gracefully. <laughs> and uh, finally, Ian, your bunch of reprobates. So, John Harvey Jones, former chairman of ICI, Tony Benn, Stephen Fry. And Jimmy Greaves. Now, this is um, a, a smoking question. They've probably all been pipe smoker of the year. Um, except, except... Except Stephen Fry, who, um, unless you can put pipes up your nose nowadays, <laughs> um, <laughs> probably hasn't won that particular Does award. Does have very bad nasal congestion? Yeah. <laughs> Only when there's a stack of coke up there. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> That's a hell of a way to get your first point since the first round. <laughs> it's, uh, no, no, Stephen was caught by News of the World and uh, he explained that it was pressures of showbiz. <laughs> oh, I know how he feels. <laughs> Is this any reference to the failed show business career of his lop and lorry? <laughs> <laughs> yes. The Whistling Hill Billies. Mm. <laughs> We've oh, been talking about country <laughs> <laughs> so, Tony Ben. Tony Ben. Like was... All this academic snobbery. I mean, he actually made not a bad job of ICI for someone without any O levels. I don't want to bring up Paul's metalwork O level now. <laughs> <laughs> I never said I got an O level in metalwork, I just said I did it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I actually got CSE ungraded. <laughs> Finally, say no to sex. Who urged? Jason Donovan. <laughs> Is that the heterosexual Jason Donovan? Yeah. <laughs> you bet. <Yeah. laughs> Dons are urged is, in fact, a slightly dull answer. So, a golden handshake for our winners, a golden shower for our losers. But uh, a chance for redemption. And Michael Burke is sacked by the BBC after trying to mate with an ostrich. <laughs> yes. So two points ahead at the moment. Yes. Um, <laughs> the only... Oh! oh what is... Please. It was... <laughs> It was I, really I think meant... it's just become a grudge match. I think it is, yeah. <laughs> it's the, so you're uh, not allowed to call short people short anymore. They're now vertically challenged. Vertically challenged. <laughs> <laughs> Stu and bald people are follically challenged. <laughs> How odd that you should pick on those two <laughs> physical <laughs> characteristics. <laughs> Edwina Gay Love Shocker. <laughs> well, it's not about Jason Donovan. No, no, no that's amazing. <laughs> Ma how, ma ma how could it be? Yeah. It could be. <laughs> I, mean, it could I don't be. understand. <laughs> You've got to be a bit careful with Edwina Curry because she uh, sued the Observer once for comparing her with Charlotte Rampling. You'd think Rampling would have sued, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting answer. It's no, him I think because I know it's him. This one. Um, uh, yes. I know this is going to be a, come as a bit of a surprise to know <laughs> an answer. Um, I think this is to do with stamps. Because the is. only reason Howard Blumenthal is famous is because he once appeared on a stamp behind the Queen by mistake, sort of waving and saying, Hi, Mum. He well, you have to pick one who hasn't been on a stamp. Ronnie Biggs is the only one that hasn't been on a stamp. <laughs> Thank goodness Paul got that. <laughs> is that the answer? Actually, well, I'll, uh, I'll give uh, one, Big one each. On people, uh, I'll give Ian it for <laughs> well, getting Well, one each, the, me the for getting it right and Paul for not knowing. That's <laughs> <good>. <laughs> 
<laughs> and Paul's actually nominating the you one You thought of becoming actually... a judge, Angus. <laughs> <laughs> I think he said Ronnie Big Slightly before you, did he? Uh, yes, I think I did, actually. Uh, um, mm. No, did the answer is it's Chris Patton, as all the others have modelled knitting patterns. Oh! Uh, <laughs> when you say it, it's so obvious. <laughs> it's staring us it was in the there, face. It was there, yeah. 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 Well, uh, we gave you the clue in pattern, of course. Oh, Chris Patton, yes, he took course. his name from a pattern, uh, knitting pattern. Uh, Norma modelled a... Have you gone off your <laughs> head? <laughs> You gave us the clue in Chris Patton. Yes. <laughs> you know, said we've all been in the army because yeah. you got Norma Major. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. They've all been smokers, Una Stubbs. <laughs> And they've all written Norman acts. Yeah. All involved in um, record attempts for the sexual act. That's Roger Moore, oh, isn't it? <laughs> That's, uh, this is degenerating into a farce. <laughs> it's not based on his name. Right? Well, Robert. Mo mm I can't remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> the treatment's again. working. And so we trot spunkily into our final missing words round. <laughs> Each team being force-fed a frantic it's selection It's very difficult to trot spunkily. Yeah. <laughs> By God, you're the man to do it. <laughs> yeah. You should try it sometime. I don't call him TV's Mr. Mr. Sex for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have to pay them a great deal of money. <laughs> Uh, uh, Can we just note. say that as uglies, we're quite pleased to have won. Well, we're, we're, uh, <laughs> well, we're, we're, we're abiding by Californian law here. You're entitled to win, right? Mm. <laughs> You're aesthetically challenged. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 they're ugly. Better than being ignorant of the news. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Africa, police hunting the agitators of the Kenyan riots fear the ringleader may be little Jimmy Osman. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Danish bacon producer <laughs> saying, let's keep Danish bacon. Danish. Mm. Danish. Yeah. yeah. But I, I'm it's always Danish... best to, to finish your sentences, really. <laughs> If it's like a punchline, don't leave words out. Yeah. No. There's a bit of... Uh, well, then it's not, it's it's not a punchline, it's a feed. It is a feed. Yeah. He's just of, feeding us yeah, over a bit there of, in the yeah. hope that we may come up with something funny when he can't. And you never do. <laughs> this is yeah. Tesco's turning down the, uh, the royal book by Andrew Morton on Princess Diana. But Asda, who isn't crawling to the palace, so they're quite happy <laughs> to have the book on their shelves, mm. right? Maybe Marks and Spencers will return them as well, you know, if you bring them back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, this is decision. Andrew Morton's book that's meant to, um... <laughs> oh, hello, the answer. Hello, well, better late than never. <laughs> Come on. Welcome back in. <laughs> I thought if you cut in now, it looked like I knew the answer. <laughs> Can, can I interrupt there? Is it Andrew Morton's book? Because <laughs> <laughs> if you cut in there, it looks like I know the answer. <laughs> yes. yes. And uh, I could Since have Paul doesn't the know the answer, it's Andrew Morton's book. <laughs> <laughs> well, we uh, could cut in here. No, none of you have got it right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it anything to do with the stars? Is it to do with the yes. astrology? Because he, he used, to, it, yes, he he used to be, he was a bit of a nutter. <laughs> the other three is I more nutty than him. Or's not the nutter. He's the one who isn't the nutter. It's isn't he's it? One, the, he's the, the one. All the others are into astrology, astrology. and he's, he's an astronomer. 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 Yeah. Basically, all the others let the stars rule their lives, and Patrick Moore tells the stars what to do. Mm. Yeah, I think, uh, I think I'll give you a point each here because uh, that was the correct answer, Ian. Well done. It's um, well, it we, were, we were getting there. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Mr. Pickett, Mr. Pickett's been to jail. Yes. Colin Moynihan. Should have been to jail. <laughs> His brother has been to jail. Good. Good. Kilroy Silk's son has been to jail. Good. Is it the Lester Piggott's the only one who's been to jail and all the others had relatives have been to jail? <laughs> Using the same tactic that worked a moment ago. <laughs> yes. Although I think, uh, I think Anne was probably onto it, in fact. Yes, uh, I think she probably was, actually. Yeah. Yes, I think she was. <laughs> <laughs> It is, um, well done, Alex. I really hate a bad loser, don't you? <laughs> it is Lester Piggott, as always. I'm a very good loser. I've had a lot of practice on this show. Mm. And I think you might be heading for another one, but there we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh... They all have boats named after them. The Kookaburra was Alan Bond's boat, wasn't it? The... 
won the Ooh, America's brilliant. Cup. Very good. Um, Ghislaine Maxwell. Ghislaine. Ghislaine. Sorry, I'm not as familiar no, with the family as you. <laughs> Angus, are you going to ask me why I'm wearing a suit tonight? <laughs> <laughs> um, I was, but later on. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Seems late enough. Why it are you wearing um... a suit? <laughs> I thought I'd take the piss out of you. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, actually, it's quite... I had to make a court appearance earlier today. It's something to do with Jason Donovan. I can't go into it. <laughs> <laughs> The only sane people are those depressed enough to think their friends are talking about them behind their back. Because according to the doctor, your friends invariably are talking about <laughs> you behind your back. Which I think uh, his friends are anyway. What about Lady Dice? God. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, uh, can't stop thinking about her, can you? No. Doctor, in his... <laughs> I think Ian's the other man. <laughs> Uh, after years of experimental study, Dr. Bentle eventually concluded that there is clinical evidence of a link between happiness and bodily indulgence. Could have told him that when I was 16. <laughs> the <laughs> professor's findings... What were you doing when you were 16? You wouldn't like to know, Paul. It was hideous to even consider. <laughs> the, uh, the professor's... <laughs> did it, but, but did he's it involve it. farmyard animals? <laughs> <laughs> I think we've got the makings of another game show here. I know. <laughs> Kiss my you. <laughs> That's well, my ram. <laughs> well, Whose buffalo ram, is it anyway? <laughs> <laughs> you know, in, in, in Time Out, you're referred to as TV's Mr. Sex. <laughs> <laughs> I shall let the audience laugh to tell its own story. <laughs> I'll uh, have you know, it costs a great deal of money to get that in. <laughs> in I'll fact... ask your money back if I win. <laughs> <laughs> Bad legs force Mrs Thatcher to miss what? Hip-hop competition. <laughs> is, it, is it pig in a passage? <laughs> <laughs> bandy legs. You couldn't stop a pig uh, in a passage. <laughs> Falklands, suddenly it goes, oh my god, there's a pig loose. <laughs> she said, I'll stop it, but it went right through. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's, 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 it's so close. <laughs> <laughs> At least four. It's four so four close, points. I'll give you one. Uh, big <laughs> race is the rather disappointing answer <laughs> after all that. Yeah. It's yeah, one of them I saying, I hear the Maxwell brothers have been arrested. <laughs> You're really sorry that we haven't got that story on this week, aren't you? The Maxwell brothers. I wanted Next to do my promise. famous Kevin and Ian Maxwell impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, save it. This is the St Ives story, where they would try and persuade people to vote Conservative by torturing them through the dentist. <laughs> <laughs> and... and and then when it didn't work, they gave them more proxy votes. Ooh. Yes, that's not true, is it, Cecil? No, it isn't. It Wouldn't just shows Norman's got this fixation about politics. I can't think why. Mm. <laughs> I gave it up in June. But, uh, <laughs> Norman, actually, you're wrong. Earlier it's the than dentists. that, I thought. I thought about joining the TUC, but I decided <laughs> I was too early. No, uh, no. Norman, no. So Norman it's uh, the full full dentists who are balloting about have. whether they should leave the health service. I think, we can I think I'm in that. the wrong programme. <laughs> <laughs> well, join it. I think I'd be a Can we have another question from the man in the back? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, not you, madam. You, madam, you've had yours. You've had yours, right? <laughs> XMP Harvey Proctor, Julian Critchley, Gary Lineker, <laughs> and. <laughs> The man currently sitting on your right hand. Do you buy your sh <laughs> I thought you were looking pleased with yourself. <laughs> um, do you buy your shirts off Harvey Proctor? No, I don't. You don't? No. no. I thought, because I thought, he's a shirt manufacturer. Yes. <laughs> yes, he is. Yeah. Oh, well, um... Mm -hmm. have, you, have you scored something like 46 goals for England? <laughs> No. <laughs> um, well, if it wasn't in very poor taste, I'd say some of those people left the Tory party after scandals, but um, <laughs> that obviously yeah, isn't the yeah. answer. No, I think that's a bit below the belt. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Paul, you're I, well, well, I don't know. Is, is it, um, Do you want the, your colleague to help you? Yes. Mm. Yes, I think he does. Well, it's, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Ian, but it's all about the shirts that oh. the people other than Gary Lineker are wearing. We're all alleged to be models for shirts. I was alleged to uh, be about to embark on a new career as a male model. Which I never did. Uh, well, it's an interesting answer because I've actually got a different. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, you're mainly you're mainly right. It's uh, it's former MP Gary Harvey Lillipi. Proctor. I've got uh, as all the others have modelled shirts. Whereas Harvey knows. Proctor Absolutely. makes them um, and indeed lifts them onto <laughs> onto onto the shelves of his new shop. <laughs> Lord, Lord Cecil here, modelled shirts last year, leading uh, his colleague Julian Critchley. He didn't model shirts. No, I didn't. Oh, well, so do you believe him? Shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Think of his record. <laughs> well, the NHS enough. is safe. Yeah, is I didn't model shirts. <laughs> I always fancy modelling them ah. underpants, you know. <laughs> you know, where you're standing next to another bloke wearing underpants, pretending to look at something far off. <laughs> Look, there's the bloke who's got our trousers. <laughs> Mrs. Thatcher. Mrs. Thatcher. <laughs> Mrs. Thatcher. <laughs> and Mother Teresa. <laughs> Um, one, of the, one of them is a living saint, um, the most wonderful, staggeringly beautiful and charitable woman in the world, um, according to the Telegraph. <laughs> <laughs> the other one's some nun who lives in Calcutta. 